Okay, and for wish number three, oh. for Swedish Princess, I present. <gasps> Yay! Yay! I give you Sunday morning special family breakfast. Wow, look at that feast, Sierra. Yeah. Look at that feast. Thank you. I also had an idea of something I wanted to film today. Yeah? I wanted to, I was really inspired by the editing you did on the last Bahamas video about time lapses. And I wanted to film an adventure about what it takes to get a talent yeah. time lapse that we put in our videos. Time lapse, denoting the photographic technique of taking a sequence of frames at set intervals to record changes that take place slowly over time. When the frames are shown at normal speed or in quick succession, the action seems much faster. That could be really cool. It'll probably take the entire afternoon, but it'll be fun. Yeah. Are you keen? Not, not sure. She like, just I wants want your to, breakfast. <laughs> I want the bacon. <laughs> you like potatoes? Egg or bacon? Okay. How about potatoes? Mm hmm. Okay, there, there's potato, there's bacon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bacon. Mmm. She like shakes her head when she gets excited. I know. She does. Okay, do you want some egg? Try some egg. This is poached egg. You guys ready for a little explore? Yeah. Well, we're gonna drift in real quietly. This place is amazing. Oh, there it goes. See you later, bird. It got a crab. This is the story of Delos, a sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Delos videos, please subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel. So Kaza, you are also a confessed time-lapse addict like myself. <laughs> so we're doing a little segment called Confessions of a Time-lapse Addict. <laughs> okay. Confession of a time-lapse addict, okay. So like it. You get it? Yeah. So when you set up a time-lapse, what are you thinking about? Like thinking about um, placement of Delos is always great to have the boat in there. Um, and also, if you can get either the sunrise or the sunset in there too, that's like yeah, top over the eye. The top, the dot, the dot, the dot the eye. <laughs> yeah. To me, it's all about trying to capture changes over a long period of time. So, yeah, I'm always looking for like as I said, sunsets, sunrises, moonrises, like the tide going up and down. Just stuff that you can show that you normally wouldn't notice in normal time that you can speed up and it looks really cool so the sun sets over there it rises over there and last night didn't the moon rise like over there yeah so like if we put it on this island over here we could probably capture the boat and the sun sets and maybe the moon rise if it runs for long enough I think somewhere along here could be good. I want to put it on that rock there. We can get to it. But these rocks probably also work good. This is a pretty nice spot, huh? It's beautiful. 
do you think? Well, it looks pretty crazy. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah. So I've got, this is our old GH4 that I've got an eight mil prime lens on. So I'll just get a nice wide view. And then this, this is the GoPro Hero 7. And then this is the new Osmo action camera. So I figured I'd run them all together and just see which one looks the coolest. Nice. I'll do 10 second intervals and uh, 10 seconds per frame means that, oh, I can't remember. So if we take one picture every 10 seconds, fuck, I can't do the math right now. <laughs> if we're doing 30 frames per second for the rendered video, we're taking one picture every 10 seconds. That means that one second of video should take 300 seconds, which is five minutes. So for every five minutes this sits here, we get one second of video. Start them up. So they're all set for 10 seconds. I'm gonna start this one. Boom, start this one. Boom, start this one. Okay, we're all set. So we'll just leave that running. It's three o'clock now. So we still have like four hours until the sunset at least. So we'll let it run for a while. Go for a cruise and just explore a little bit. I think it has, uh, like, you're obviously allowed to go on it. I think it has some campsite area. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Let's we'll check it out. Check it out? It's a nice place to land the dinghy. Yeah. Spotted a bird. You see a bird, little birder? I swear she's gonna be a bird watcher. <laughs> so what do you think about this type of cruising so far? I like the the contrast for sure between like you know what we're used to and what we've done for quite a long time uh, being up here. But uh, it's harder. It's a lot harder. Everything. The temperature. You have to, you know, wear a lot more clothes and, you know, if you get wet, it's not that you can just hang it out for 10 minutes and your clothes will dry. Like, it's a lot more things to think about <laughs> than, you know, when you're in the Caribbean or anywhere else in the equator, you just like, I don't know, you get wet, and you dry pretty fast and it's just hot and it's nice and it's easy. And I like it though. I like it. It feels a bit more rough and rugged. Yeah. Things don't come so easily. No. You know? And that's why there's way less people up here too. Yeah. Like look at there's just a few boats. And yeah. that's it. That's it. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the temperature. To not be hot is like amazing. <laughs> yeah. I'm so tired so tired of being hot. Yeah. And these tides are crazy. Like I right know. where we're sitting right now. If it was high tide, we'd be underwater. Yeah. As you can see, the high tide line is like where the black comes up to the rock. And so all this would be, this whole beach would just be underwater. Which is crazy. If we sat here long enough, we'd get wet, Nugget. Are you eating sand? Woo! Ah! <laughs> what are you doing there, Nugget? That's your shadow. That's called a shadow. How come it moves along with you? That's funny, huh? <laughs> Careful. Oh, good catch. She's trying to figure out what it is. Let me just wind you up. Okay, you're free. <laughs> How did the time lapses go? Oh, uh, pretty cool actually. So I've got all three of them here. The first one is from the DJI Osmo or the DJI action camera. Uh, so I'll just play this here. So it looks pretty cool. Like you can see the clouds coming across and like the colors are pretty good. It's a little overexposed here, but it looks pretty nice. Um, the interesting part happens when it starts to get dark. You can see the tide starting to come up, which is something very cool to capture 
in a time lapse. Uh, and then it starts to get dark and the colors come out, but then it starts to get really noisy right here when we start to lose the light and then it just sort of goes black for the rest of it. And then the GH4 one, this one takes a little bit more post-processing work. Uh, I think the exposure is better. The clouds aren't overexposed. But where this one really excels, because it's largely the same here, is when the light starts to go down. Like when you look back here, but you can see the colors become really rich and then the water starts to come up and then look at how long, like how much better it does in the light. And as it turns to dark, you can actually see like the clouds and the stars and look at the anchor lights reflecting. I think I think the end of this one looks super cool. Yeah, that's my on favorite. The, on the GH4, you can just see the, the tide just goes woof. And that's something that's really what a time lapse is for is to show like changes in something over a long period of time, like clouds moving, tides coming up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Happy birthday Whoa, to Mama. Oh, look at Happy this. Happy birthday to you. This looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you excited, baby nugget? Don't get too excited. This is mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making one special for you. It's going to be a small nugget size one. Has a Chon's birthday, and I want to make her a special dinner which requires me taking a little bit of a dinghy ride to the closest town, which is actually the next island over about seven miles away. I'll see you soon. I love you too. Be good. Oh, jeez. Oh, cool. Koozies. People are so funny. Leave us little gifts, it's amazing. Ah! Ready to go on a mission? I like missions, let's go. Okay. I get to buy garbage. That's the deal. Hey guys! Hey, you got any lobster for sale? We buy them right off the boat. We need about uh, six or so. Yeah. Is it all right if I come alongside? How you guys doing today? Yeah, doing well. At least the weather's all right. No, not even falling. All right, I'll see you better than this up around here. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, uh, do you know if there's a place to drop off trash around here or have you got to go all the way trash. to town? Hey. Can I give you guys a couple bucks to take the trash? Yeah? yeah? Oh, I got wind tower right out of the place. Maybe. How about five bucks? Yeah, sure. That, that saves us a trip to North yeah, Haven, so we're happy. That's fine. I'll, I'll so she's going to be a very happy lady. They don't get any no, they don't. All right, you guys take care. Good luck. Well, where do we go now? That's it. <laughs> Yesterday, when we were here, this whole thing was dry. And there's like two little camping spots up there on that island with the sign. And then all this was beach and Sierra was just going nuts. It's just amazing how much it changes in the high tide. There's like 10 feet of water over it now. So. Take 127. <laughs> <laughs> we have some amazing news today. A few summers ago, we took a little expedition up to Svalbard, up in the Arctic, and we did a bunch of filming, and we've just finished production on a badass four-part documentary series about the expedition. Yeah, here's a little teaser for you. Stay clipped in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Vikings called this place the end of the ocean and it, it is an intimidating place to sail. North, look, we're literally sailing off the chart.
So it's two hours of pure entertainment and if you want to check it out, head to adnorthseries.com and you won't regret it. That's it. And make sure you stay to the end of this video because we're going to play the full trailer there for you. Don't want to miss that. Yeah. Okay. Back to the show. <laughs> I was just thinking how different going into the beach here is than I know. in the Bahamas. <laughs> yep. Not only do you have to prepare for the treacherous, like low, high tidal range, yeah. but like we're doing Clouds. more walking, we're putting on shoes and boots. It's good just to get off the boat a little bit and I explore. It feels great to move around a little bit and just. I don't know. Whew, I'm overheating now. <laughs> Those lobster men today, I think, were looking at me real funny because I have like a hat on and like full cold weather gear, and they're out there in like shorts and t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready, baby nugs? Let's go. So this is Kaz's first birthday wish. <laughs> she wanted to pick blackberries. Well, first birthday wish was the breakfast. Oh, that's right. But yeah, we're gonna pick some berries and hopefully not get stung by the bees. All right. It's nice. It's nice to gather your own things. <laughs> See that goodness going on over there? Oh, wow. How are you gonna get in there? I'm as confused as you are, baby nugs. I've managed to make myself way in there before. I'm going back in. Can you navigate this obstacle? Oh, nice. This is a rotten log. It's been here for a long time. Yeah, yeah it's squishy, huh? Because it's rotten. It's squishy. <laughs> How's it going, Kaza? Not some, a little handful. Oh, Not that many. Great. Okay. <laughs> it's cool. Okay, okay. Here, here, here. Are you gonna grab all of them? Except for the ones I drop. You are a grub. <laughs> she is a grub. <laughs> Why did she pick so many? <laughs> all right. So mission successful. Uh huh. Birthday wish number two complete. <laughs> He's going at it. Cliff Woodpecker Nugs. Duh. Yeah, it's a crazy bird, huh? It pecks holes in trees. Their brain must be in like some kind of enclosing. You mean like their skull? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and for wish number three, for Swedish princess I present <laughs> plate of lobster, potatoes au gratin, fresh green beans delivered by a very kind soul from the organic garden with a glaze and garlic and balsamic and Look at those lobsters! Yeah, look at that. I don't There's... think I've ever sat this close to a plate of lobster so this Living the good life yeah, here in Maine. Seriously. <laughs> it's like a $300 meal out or something, right? You know, it's crazy. Thanks, guys, for coming to my birthday. Oh, happy Thanks birthday, for Kaza. Coming us. We are so excited to be Great. here. Great. Thanks for cooking, Brian. Mm -hmm. You're the best. Mm -hmm. I've been treated very well today. Today's been a good day. I had a lot of fun, too. How old am I? Did you figure out? 32 years old. <laughs> happy birthday, birthday, dear Kaza. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Okay. Should I say something? Say no. something <laughs> profound. Oh. What have you learned in your 32 years of life? Oh, in my 32 years of life. That even though there's a lot of crazy things going on in the world right now, there's a lot of amazing people out there. Yeah, that's true. Oh. And I love that. So thank you to all the amazing people that we have met over the years. I love all of you guys. Well done. Hey! Profound. Really well like said. And I'm 32 years old. Yay! And I'm going to go to bed very soon. It's <laughs> 9.30. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. 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 Okay.
Okay. <gasps> yeah. Yay! <laughs> Who wants whipped cream? Hope you enjoyed this episode. Tune in next Friday as we anchor in the middle of Acadia National Park, where we do some great hiking and also have one of our most essential pieces of equipment aboard blow up. Oh, Jesus! Oh my God. It's rotten. There's probably bugs in it. Ooh. <laughs> one picture every 10 seconds. Fuck, I can't do the math right now. <laughs> Get back to that. <laughs> Let me stand by. Stand by. Careful, Nugget. That's a lobster. It'll it'll get you. Full starboard trailer. Starboard trailer. Hey, thanks for sticking all the way to the end of the video. You did it. And this is now exciting. We're... <laughs> this is exciting. Yeah, I think what you said was good, but you had a little bit too much oomph. In too it. much oomph. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of the Svalbard video. We hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe and now watch the trailer. Thank you. Goodbye. Is that better? No. <laughs> all right. You ready? I got to get pumped. I got to okay, get excited. Okay. Should we do that last part again? I think it was all right. All right. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end, guys. Now we have a little treat for you. We're going to play the full Svalbard trailer. You can see it also at 80northseries.com. But here you go. Enjoy. Enjoy. East Jordan, East Jordan. This is the Delos Shore Party. Over. Yeah, go ahead. It looks incredible from here. Like the light shining on the sail and the glacier just looks massive behind the boat. <laughs> that was a big one. Holy shit. There's a lot of ice around the boat. We need to go now. I don't know, I don't know why we were all so eager to say yes to this trip in the Arctic. The idea of, of sailing in a part of the world that is so different than what we're used to in the tropics. I kind of know what to expect, but I don't know what to expect because I've never been there, and this is out of my comfort zone. Oh man, the f we do, huh? Bears. Man, this is like something that you would see some crazy person doing in the movies. There's a ton of them over here. <laughs> oh, f that. Now, there's a saying that the, the, the Arctic will kill the unprepared. The minute you let your guard down is when something's gonna happen.